Okay, I am here with um, some UPO paper today, some photo paper, and alcohol markers, which I know I refer to as Copic, but they're not Copic, they're Spectrum Noir. And I, I don't know what the difference is between the two. They're both alcohol markers, um, Spectrum Noir, Sharpies, Copic. I think there's another brand. These are $7.88 for a six pack at my craft store. So I've been buying them a package at a time and I have a, a nice range of colors now. I keep them in these prism boxes, storing them flat and I just have them separated in warm and cool colors. Um, I discovered that working on the UPO paper is really nice. Now this is not, this is more like painting with Copic markers. So I am doing some blending, but it's more like painting. And the thing I really like about this, and you can see this area right here, I put down an area, it left an edge, which I love. I went into it with a lighter color. I drew lines over it. Everything is showing and layered. So I've been kind of into this. So you can use either the UPO, which is a nice paper. It's, um, it's kind of expensive. This is from my local art store and they always have a good price on it. But it's, this is $16 essentially for 10 sheets, nine by 12. I do of course cut it down and, um, it is really nice to work on, but you can also work on the glossy photo paper. So I'm just going to get quiet here and um, do some painting. Just adding some color here and it's, these pens are nice and juicy. And um, on the glossy paper, they will really puddle a little bit. And that's what creates those, those interesting edges. And when you change colors, the colors will blend a bit. And you really don't need to worry about um, ruining your tip. You can just, if some of the other color pollutes the tip, just wipe it off somewhere else. No problem there. Here again, I'm adding another color right on top and the alcohol in the markers will push color away or appear to if the, if that color is that you're using is lighter than the color you've applied, it sort of pushes it away and you can see that edge that I just showed you. Very nice. So now I'm just adding some patterning and again you can take your time and let the water, the color sort of pool a little bit and it'll really change the effect. I did not use any ethyl alcohol in this uh, video but um, I think like alcohol inks, Rangers alcohol inks, they would be effective. I was more concentrating on creating some little cards that I could use in my journal. I was going after the format of um, the Project Life cards, but making them my own. I thought it would be fun to write some words that were personal to me. Um, trust is the first word, and Really, I know you hate your handwriting, but uh, you can use it and just um, practice a little bit. Add some thicker lines here and there, and, and your handwriting's fine. You, you can always use rubber stamps and uh, pigment ink, though, as well. Now, listen up, because July 17th through 20th uh, is the hashtag Summer Art Love event here on YouTube and I will be releasing a video a day to increase awareness of the art 
channels. And so don't forget to watch and please thumbs up, comment, let me know what you'd like to see. I really read every single comment and love to hear from you guys. And YouTube likes to see comments and thumbs ups. Bye now.